David Phelps, Director of the Tropical North Queensland Drought Hub. One of the key elements for agriculture, particularly for, for grazing systems, whether that be, be dairy, beef, sheep, goats, is that the productivity and the health of the soil and the land and the pastures underpins all of your productivity. If we can achieve healthy soils through the soil key approach or through any other approaches, that's going to improve the productivity, which will also improve the resilience for the long term. Hi, I'm Neil Solson from Soil Key. We build the Soil Key Renovator, which is here behind me, and this is the first one that's come up into North Queensland. The Soil Key Renovator system is designed to enhance the function of the soil, to self-aggregate and maximise that use of available nutrients. So its system is around collecting the sunlight, capturing and holding as much moisture as you can, keeping the nutrients in the soil available and keeping that back onto the landscape. And in doing so, you're rapidly building carbon at the same time and increasing production of the fodder that you're growing. So as the blades curve off on the machine, they'll lift the side. So each side will get lifted about 25, 30 mil and then in between, it's totally undisturbed. So the fungal population then repopulates out sideways and up, and it really aggregates that soil. The system is designed to plant crops into existing pasture, and it's normally sort of a spring, summer crop, or an autumn into the winter crop, and um, two different sort of design seed mixes just to enhance that production in that sort of lower feed gap period. The main factors for performance are generally sunlight and, and moisture. Um, we're around 1200 mils back in Gippsland in Victoria and you've got four metres up here so we're not going to be restricted by moisture, plenty of sunlight, fantastic soil so we're expecting you know, like a possibility of double what we're achieving up here. So I'm Silas um, and I work with the Holistic Management Co-op as an EOV monitor and we are monitoring uh, Glenview Dairy here to create a baseline for our ecological outcomes verification monitoring. And basically what we're doing is we look at different indicators across the property that indicate how healthy it is, and they look at leading indicators of ecological health. It's got a fair bit of activity. That dung is seven to ten days old. I'm not concerned about decomposition here whatsoever. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's that quick. Did you pull past from more rain today? There he is. He found him. One little Go. fella. One little fella. Oh, Put him on the palm of your hand. Maybe you'll see him a bit better. It's a dung beetle. And based on those results, if the, the scores increase off based on the baseline, then this property is eligible for land to market verification, which is a marketing opportunity for farmers to uh, sell their product under the claim that they're regenerating their land. Soil management in the next decade will really focus on the natural systems and looking after that because the natural equity, the banks are looking at assisting us because of that nat natural equity approach. If you're looking after that, your sustainability is long term and you're more resilient to the tough times. So you're reducing your inputs, which then gives you more profit back in the farmer's pocket. So that's the, the main reason for having the system out there is to assist that whole agricultural production to increase the profit back to the farmer. The teeth on down this shoe, what it's like when it's been done, gone over it once, the seeds are in these burrows here, they are planted in. And you scratch the dirt off of there and it's un untouched. So that grass can come up through that dirt. We're standing in paddock 5A. It was planted on the 5th of June, um, the day before the field day, and which was 10 weeks ago. The soil was a little bit moist, too moist for planting, but we've done it, and we've had some four frosts in early July. But yeah, the results are looking good now. These ones here are oats, just starting to seed. This is your triticale. 
What's that one here? It's a type yep. of wheat, right? Uh, a oh, barley yeah. cross. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, on. I don't know. That's, this is linseed and um, that's faber beans. They're, they're slow to germinate and get going. And you were saying you haven't been able to plant them before because of the bigger seeds. Yeah, they've got size. big, big seeds on them. Big. But the yeah. key renovator's been able to handle from hand tiny seeds up to. Yeah, it handles anything. That's your field pea. Plenty of field peas here. Um, yep, and then in here's our brassicas. Tillage radish there. The reason why we purchased the soil key renovator it improves the soil structure and improves the soil health and also after a few years you end up producing more feed if i can get this in yet from the 20th of march yeah. keep planting to the first week of april yeah and it gets up and gets cold with a little to sit there yeah. but we're going to have that much feed because of the better soil health, you're producing more dry matters per hectare, which should produce more milk, which is more money, we hope. Resilience is really about having buffers through healthy soil. It's about having buffers through um, healthy landscapes and good land condition. And it's about having buffers through efficient and highly productive pastoral and agricultural systems.